Sorry, one sec. Let's meet the house guests. Let's see level pie. Wait, wait, what is this? This is a delicious pie! And I'm going to the Sony Showdown again! Woo! Hi, I'm Steve, and I like pie. That's why I'm going into this competition with more fire than ever before. I'm going for the win. I did really well last time we did this competition. So this time, my strategy is gonna be pretty similar. I'm gonna change it up just a little though. I'm not gonna team up with so many people. I'm gonna team up with a few people really tight and go for the win. Oh. because this is gonna be so worth it. My strategy for this season is to team up with as many people as I can. I didn't make as many alliances as I should have last season and I need to step my social game up a lot this time if I'm gonna win the grand prize. And these toys will have to clean up themselves. I'm going to the Sony Showdown! Woo! He's right there. Get him, get him. To the left, to the left. Oh, you have to push, guys. You have to push. <gasps> I made it to the Sony Showdown! Woo! Let's go, baby! My name is Jared. When I'm not playing sports, I'm playing video games. Check out my videos on Snapback Gaming. My strategy on this one is make it past the first round since last time I got backstabbed. So I was the first one to be eliminated last season by Steve, and I'm here to get my revenge. Steve, you better watch out, I'm coming for you. <laughs> Why you to show that? You're gonna win this one. We're going all the way, baby. Let's do this. Yes. Sweet, I get another chance to win. 
My name is Steven Yeager. I love basketball, dirt bike riding, and playing Silly Showdown. Last competition, I got second place. I almost won the whole thing, but I lost a pan. Gosh! Whoa! My strategy this time around is to get Peyton out of the competition. Because I think I can win it if I'm not competing against her. Grand prize, I'm coming for you. Let's do this. Check mate. No way! I'm going to the soda showdown. I can't believe I'm going again. I'm Peyton and last season I won the soda showdown. And I'm gonna do it again. I won last season because I dominated competitions. And I outsmarted the other players. It's just like a chess game. You have to think about your every move. And I'm the best chess player. Tech great. My strategy is to win the first Sody Boss competition. I feel it like that is how I'm gonna win this thing. I'm going to the Sooty Showdown. I'll get another chance to win. <sighs> I should get ready. I'm Taylor, and I'm going to the Sooty Showdown. Last season, I got voted out on a tie. I, I will be the tiebreaker, and I will choose who must leave the Sooty House. I'm sorry to say this, but Taylor, you must leave the house. And Derek and Steven have some explaining to do. My strategy is to make lots of friends. I make up some big alliances. There's not gonna be a boys club this season. I'm coming for you guys. Showdown. And the winner is Taylor. Woohoo! Did it. Oh, it's gonna fall. Oh, what? Freak yeah, I'm going to the Sody Showdown. I go to the Sony Showdown. Only if you win. So I got pretty far last time, so I think I can do it. And this time, I'm ready to compete. My leg is completely healed this time. Ah! Derek! Ah! Oh my ah! God, God, God. Hey, he's ah, actually hurt. Pause. Pause. <laughs> so this time around, what do you think I can do better? Your social skills were amazing. Competition-wise, you gotta win some. Yeah. I think I can do this. I'm gonna get the win for both of us. I gotta start training. Are you ready for the Sony Showdown? Ten house guests, three weeks, and just one winner. With a holiday shopping spree at stake, each house guest will compete to see who will control the house. They battle for their lives as one house guest will be sent home each day. With so much at stake, there will be lies, drama, deception, and a whole lot of fun. House guests. Are you ready to be cut off from the outside world? You may enter the house. 
The Sony Showdown begins now. <laughs> Two ply, 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 two ply. What? They went cheap this season. <laughs> Dude, check out this sweet trumpet. I don't know how to play trumpet. Oh, sweet! They have a. Never mind. The pool's closed. Whoa! This Christmas plate. There's an elf on the shelf. Wow, they really broke the bank here. I still see no escalator. Whoa, check out this Christmas decorations. <gasps> this presents and stockings. Uh, they must have hired an interior designer. This place is crazy. Let's check the theater out. Holy Christmas! You don't have a tree! So much detail! It even has a hot dog! Still my favorite room in the house! Looks like the code is still the same! And there's another Christmas tree! Whew, so last season, Derek and Steven took ownership of this room. Not this time. This is where I'm hanging out. <coughs> I don't think so. Sody Showdown, I'm coming for ya. Sody Showdown house guests. <gasps> Yay, it's happening! Block. And one of them may go home. Who's ready to play Sodi Snowball Challenge? Everyone head on up to the kitchen. Let's play. Good luck, Sodi House guests. Oh, sweet. Hmm. This thing's kind of cool. Sweet. All right, first challenge for the Sodi competition. I'm pumped and ready to play. This competition looks pretty easy. I think I can do this. Whoa, cool. This looks awesome. Are you ready to play the Sodi Snowball Challenge? Yes, let's go. Each house guest will throw three ping pong balls. You must roll your ping pong balls across the table into the cones to get your point. The house guest with the highest score wins. All right, first attempt, here we go. Let's do this. Nothing. 
Well, that wasn't a great first shot. Once again. So, uh, I'm thinking rolling this little ping pong ball across the countertop is gonna be super easy. I got this. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, that's too slow. No. Why is this competition so hard? What am I doing wrong? Like honestly, I am bad. <laughs> All right, last one, here we go. So uh, that didn't go too well. You know, I think that's a pretty decent score. I just hope it's enough. Alright, it's my turn. I think I'm gonna do good at this game. It looks super easy. Uh, I walk in, looks super easy. There's just a bunch of cones. Obviously, there's bigger numbers and smaller numbers. Just gotta roll a ball across the table, drop it in, points. Since I won last season in the first one, I figure I've gotta make my mark and do it twice. Be the only person who wins the first competition every single time we play. All right, do I go safe or do I go for it? First ball, safe. So much for going safe. All right, so after I tried to play it safe and I missed, round two was zero points. I knew I had to get some points and I was going for big ones. <sighs> no pressure. Oh, let's go right at it. Oh! I missed it again. Zero points, two rounds. I'm not gonna get any points in this competition. <sighs> round three. I've got zero points going into the final round. I'm probably losing by a ton. I've got to take a shot at the big one and hope, but probably not in this competition. I cannot finish this with zero points. Please. Yes, I'm so excited! I don't think I'm gonna be good at this competition. I've never thrown ping pong balls across the table. Sody House Guest, are you guys ready to see who won the first Sody Boss Challenge? Jared got a score of 20. Derek got a score of 15. 
Jamie got a score of zero. I got a score of 25, which puts me in the lead. Parker got a score of zero. Peyton got a score of also 25. Blake got a score of 10. Taylor got a score of 10. Jordan got a score of 50. Which means Jordan is in first place right now. And lastly, Steve got a score of 50. Which means Steve and Jordan are tied for first place. I nailed it! The 50 pointer! I have no idea what everybody's scores are, but 50 points? It's probably not easy to get to that. Alright, I tied with Jordan. So now it's time for me and her, mono and mono, to see what we can do. I know what I'm going for. The big one. What? For this tiebreaker, it's sudden death. You get one throw each. The winner is the Sony Boss. Come on, get set, go! Let's do it. Woo-hoo-hoo! Again, victory is mine. This is a good start to the season. I've already got a win under my belt. Now I have control. I get a chance to kind of make some alliances with everybody. I'm pretty excited. I was so close. What do I always have to lose? This is gonna be a rough season, especially with Steve in charge. Well, I guess it's time just to decide who I'm nominating to go home. So, Sony Boss. Yes. Second time. I like to refer to me as Sony Boss. <laughs> Second time winning the first Sony Boss. Do you know who you're thinking put it, to put up? Well, it seems like things are going to be kind of quick this season, so I don't know. I think I know, but I'm not sure I'm ready to share. Well, I would actually like to team with you because last season we we were really good teammates and I want to go to the end with you. Alright, so we got to decide if we're going to stay quiet about teaming up or if we're going to like let people know, if we're going to make it obvious. Yeah. That's something we need to think about, so keep that on your mind. Okay. Fortnite's with you. I don't know. They're weird socks, actually. They're right. They're socks. I said they were weird, not nice. They're Goonies or Coonies? Goonies. Oh. Alright, so what are we thinking? Uh, I don't want the girls to hear, so I'm kind of keeping it quiet, but are we going man strong this season? I think we better. It's better not to have the girls around. I don't know, last season, I, I don't really trust them anymore. I mean, I know we had a rough season last season, but I feel like our bank. best path to the finals is all of us together. <laughs> We can't let a girl win again. He's got a good point there. I say we go to like the final five and then we just go full bore all at each other. Every man for himself. But do we have your word? You have it. All right, looks like we have an alliance. What's our alliance name? All right, so I don't know, something kind of lame like Steven's sweater. Christmas cows maybe? <laughs> Christmas cows? Ugh. <laughs> not, not bad. It is the Christmas edition, right? So we gotta do something Christmas um, How about the Nutcrackers? <laughs> yeah, I like it. No, I like it. it. The Nutcrackers. All right, the Nutcrackers. The nutcrackers. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty excited for this new alliance, the Nutcrackers. I feel like we're gonna go pretty far here. We're gonna destroy the competition. So we went from the Eliminators last season. This time, the Nutcrackers. Things are stepping up. I don't trust Steve, um, obvious reasons from last season, and I can trust the other two, but Steve is a little iffy since he worked both sides and made deals with Jamie and different people, and so, I don't know, I'm keeping my distance, I'm staying in the alliance, but I'm keeping a close eye on Steve, but Nutcracker for life. So uh, guys, who do you think Steve's gonna put up on the block? I think he's gonna put up Peyton. 
Really? Me? Well, you did win the last season, so I'm gonna go with you. The only shot I have is to convince Steve um, that there's a bigger threat than me. I would try to convince him that Steven's more dangerous than you. Well, he did almost win. I think that's my only shot. I think Mark is right. If I can't convince, if I can't convince Steve that Steven is more dangerous, I'm out. What's well, up, man? Well, I realized that I almost won. I won the last competition, so he's trying to make me go home, probably. Did someone tell you that? No. Hmm. I was just talking to some people and they think that you're going to put me up. Well, people do want me to put you up. I figured. I just wanted to let you know that um, Steven's bigger, a, a bigger threat than me. Why is he bigger than you? You beat him last season. Well, because he, he can win again. Um, well, win. Because last season he was in the finals. So if I don't put you up, I'm going to have some people mad at me. I'm willing to work together with you. Hmm. I mean, people are going to be really mad if I don't put you up, so if I'm going to need a good deal with you where I have some protection for a while from you. I can make a deal. Okay, because it's a big deal and people think you should be gone, I think that will go away like as the game goes on, but if I don't put you up, you have to promise me you'll never put me up unless I'm the only option you have. Okay, I can do it. Only if you keep me safe. All right, then this week, you're not going up. You cannot break a pinky promise. I won't. And let's just keep it between the two of us. Yeah, secret. So uh, I think I just secured my safety this week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm not going anywhere, folks. It would be the easiest to put up because everybody wants her out because she won. But that also makes it somebody who needs a friend in this house. So that might be a vote I can earn if I just keep her along a little bit longer. But even though I told Peyton that, I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do. Guys, it's time for the nomination ceremony. I don't have a good reason to nominate anybody this week, so don't take this personal. But my first nominee is Blake. <laughs> and my second nomination is Parker. You were dead. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> yeah. I so I guess this nomination ceremony is adjourned. Sody Showdown House Guests. Hello, Sody House Guests. It's me again, Barb. I have a special holiday surprise for you. It's not, there's not gonna be two nominees. There's gonna be three. <gasps> Whoever gets the worst score in last chats competition will be joining Parker and Blake on the block and two house guests will be sent packing get ready guys this is not going to be easy good luck oh no what do I think about the twist three people up on the block I thought I got away scot-free for being put up on the block when I heard Steve call Parker and Blake's name. But then this? Barb, what are you thinking? Two people are getting sent home? Oh, I'm so worried. I'm not happy. I don't want to go home. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about this whole third person being nominated. It could be good, it could be bad. It could go one of two ways. One, both the people I wanted to send home, go home. Or, 
neither of them do. And that's the worst case scenario. So, um, what do you think the last chance challenge is gonna be? Well, I don't know, but I don't wanna lose. I don't want the last points because Steve didn't put me up. I cannot be the third nominee. I feel like if you are, you're definitely going home. I just have to play my hardest. Me too. So, if you win the last chance competition, would you take someone off the block? I'm thinking I might take one of them off and put Peyton on, because I think we need to get her out of here because she won last time. Uh, I kind of think the same thing. We also have to remember that the person that gets the lowest score also goes into the block. Yeah. You know, I think Taylor is on board with me on this, that we need to get Peyton up on the block. But I think I need to talk to Steve and the rest of the Nutcrackers um, to see if I can get them on board. And one of us just needs to win the competition and take either Parker or Blake off. Then Peyton may be going home. All right, boys. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. Taylor is also on board with this, but I'm saying, because we now have pretty much control of the entire house, we're probably gonna win this competition. I say if we win, we either take off Parker or Blake and put Peyton on there, because I feel like she's quite a threat. That's true, she did win last time. Mm -hmm. Did you bring Taylor to the Nutcrackers? No. She has no idea about any of this. I just told her that if she wins, we should put Peyton on. Hmm. Yeah, let's make sure no one knows about this. Yeah, you don't want the Nutcrackers to get out of its shell. See, that's a pretty good point. It'd be a big move. So, are you ready for this challenge? Not really. Sody Showdown House Guests. Hello, Sony house guests. Bye, Peter. It's time for the last chance challenge, where you will be competing in the Santa liftoff. Whoever wins this competition gets the hourglass trophy and has the ability to take someone off the block or keep the noms the same. But remember, the loser of this competition goes on the block. Now it's time to draft to see who plays. Good luck, Sooty House guests. All right, House guests, it's time to pick players for the last chance competition. As Sony boss, and with the two nominees, we automatically will compete in the competition. And we will each choose a house guest to compete. Since I'm the Sony boss, I'll go first. Taylor. Ooh. I can't believe my name got drawn. I really did not want to be in this competition. Jared. Derek. I'm not entirely sure I want to compete in this competition. If I lose, I'm going on the block and I have a feeling some people are going to vote me out. Santa's liftoff. Each house guest gets two beanbag tosses. The house guest that ends with the highest score wins the last chance challenge. And remember, the house guest that has the lowest score ends up on the block. After doing a random draw, Blake will be the first to throw. Yeah. Woo! I'm going next. Oh. So after my first throw, I got negative three points. This is not how I wanted to be playing this competition. All right, here goes nothing. Ooh. Oh. My first round, I got zero points. Gosh, what's happening? All right, I'll go next. Oh. What does that mean? All right, here we go. Ooh, good start to this competition. I'm gonna go for the win. And I'm the last one. All right, guys, it is time for round two. Please get me a three. I'm at zero, I've never 
never been so happy to be a zero in my life. I pretty much sealed the deal unless Jared makes a miracle throw. When it came to my second shot, I knew I had to get that three. Unfortunately, I got a two, but then I got knocked into the three zone. Solid zero points. I definitely didn't lose with zero points. All right, last throw. All right, guys, after competing in the Santa liftoff competition, we have Steve as the winner of the last chance competition and Taylor as the loser, which means Taylor is the third nominee on the block for elimination. I am racking up comp wins like crazy already. First, the Sodi Boss competition, now the last chance competition. I'm a beast. Um, I pretty much gave Steve that win since I hit his to the three mark, which I didn't have to. I could have made Blake win that competition. So I chose Steve to win that competition. I hit his to the three mark, so he better save me. Last season, he put me up on the block really early. It, sh it cannot be a repeat. Nutcrackers, we got some big moves coming. I did plenty good. I didn't think I was going to get last place, but when I threw that, and it landed in negative three. I know, it's hopeless. I'm going on the block. I could be sent home because of this one competition. It's just not fair. How'd the competition go? Let me just say, I almost lost with Fair. negative three points <laughs> at the oh, oh my god. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Blake oh was surprisingly competitive in that competition. <laughs> what, really? Oh yeah. And <laughs> of course I won. <laughs> From a little help, but yes. Jerry and Taylor lost. That's the biggest thing. So Taylor's on the block. Taylor's on the block. I seriously wanted Parker and Blake gone. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. And we were thinking we could hide our alliance a little bit. You need to hide it. I take Taylor off. People think I'm working with her. And we put one of you guys up. Specifically you. <laughs> Wait, it has to be me? Hi, guys. Hey, Blake, we're just having a little talk. Well, you want to give me a drink? Okay. Oh, but seriously, hear us out, hear us out. We have the votes. Jamie already said she'll do it. Taylor made an oath to me that she'll do it. it especially if he takes her off the block. Because then she thinks me and her are working close together, we can use her throughout the whole game. Mm -hmm. Then nobody will suspect that we're all teaming up. If we look like you going after you. I mean, why can't it be someone else? Like one of you guys. I did Jared last time. You got second place. I mean... And I am not going back on that block. Oh, thanks, Blake. Oh, you're the best, Blake. <laughs> that poor thing is going to be gone. <laughs> Maybe we need to add her to the alliance <laughs> so she gets us drinks. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. I can't believe we're going to vote that girl out. Y'all are voting her out, right? I could use some nachos. If you guys turn on me, like, seriously. I mean, I really don't have a choice, but I'll do it. It's There's the, the spirit. It's best for the alliance. Not the crackers. crackers. So yeah, that kind of stinks. I feel like a pawn here, but I'm not like super worried because I, I trust them in this. I just just hope I don't get sent home. I just hope the nutcrackers have my back. All right guys, it's time for the last chance ceremony. I won the hourglass, so that gives me the power to take someone off the block or leave nominations the same. I put a lot of thought into this and it's just something I feel like I need to do. So I am going to use it to remove Taylor. Really? Yes, thank you. Oh no. All right, since I just removed a nomination from the block as a study boss, I have to put somebody else up. I've decided to go with Steven. Oh. Next. Have a seat. I'm so relieved right now. I thought he was going to put me up. Steve stuck to his alliance. Guys, I'm not going anywhere. Peace. Yeah. I, I'm just so shocked. I'm so happy I got saved. Steve's gonna be loyal. Yes. He's on my side. 
All right, guys, it's time for the elimination ceremony. Since I'm a Sody boss, I will not vote unless there is a tie. Each one of you guys has a chance to plead your case before we vote. Why I want to stay in? It's because I want to see my friend Peyton and Derek. Please don't vote me out. I feel bad about Derek. I want to stay. Come on, guys, you can't vote me out. You know I could be a possible valuable asset here, you know? I'm really good at this game, as you could tell from last time. That's all I have to say. It's time to cast our votes. Guys, you'll be voting for who will stay. <sighs> all right, um, sorry girls, um, but I vote for Steven to stay. Hi, Mom and Dad. Vote for Parker to stay. Who I'm voting to keep in is Steven. I vote for Parker to stay. So I'm gonna be loyal because there's some non-loyal people in here. So I'm voting to keep Steven. I vote for Link to stay. In a super close vote, with three votes to stay, Steven, you were staying in the house. <sighs> Parker and Blake, I'm sorry, but you've been eliminated. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I don't like my. I had to vote to save uh, Parker because her speech really spoke to my heart. It won me over. But I mean, Parker had to leave, unfortunately. And good thing the Boys Alliance is still holding on strong and nobody suspects anything. But Parker's speech, man. Why I want to stay in? It's because I want to see my friend Peyton and Derek. Thank goodness, the Nutcrackers came through. I was just a pawn, but they saved me. I'm still in this. But sadly, Parker and Blake are out. I can't believe Baby Blake got sent home. Like, why didn't people vote to like, keep her? Why don't they want her in this house? I feel like my best friend is gone. So, uh, you're a uh, Sodi boss, Rain. I guess went good in this plan. We got rid of yeah, got rid of Parker and Blake. Parker and Blake. I mean, not big threats, but yeah, I I felt like they had to go. Me too. I did want to talk to you about something though. Yeah. It's kind of like an alliance I want to make. Okay, with us. Yeah, but I thought, what if we did like a adult alliance and we okay. go after all the kids? Okay, so who? I already took out two of them. Okay. Well, obviously, I'm just so thinking go get Derek and Jared. Derek's an adult? Okay, I'll go get him. Ouch. Seriously, guys? Get in! Get in! Gosh. Alright. Alright, hear me out. Real quick, because I don't want to get suspicious, but I think we should just do an all-adult alliance where we knock the little boogers right out of this game. Okay. Sounds good. That's the greatest idea I've ever heard come out of your mouth. Well, we can win competitions. Yeah, we'll they can't win the next, competitions. We just need to win the next Sody Boss, and then we'll go after two more people. But we have to meet in secret. We can't, yeah, let, we them can't know. let them know. We can't let them know. Especially Steven, Steven and Taylor. The okay. older ones will do okay. well. Okay, all right. So is the we next meeting going to be in the bathroom or something? <laughs> I feel like that's the most secretive place we have. True. Sure. Okay, we'll meet in the bathroom. Um, what is our name? Senior citizens? We're not as old as you two. Excuse me, I'm young. Get hard. So we have to come up with a Christmassy name since it's a Christmas edition. Like, um, we could, oh, I know, we could be the Nutcrackers. Like, you know, we have that Nutcracker. That's kind of a dumb name. That's, name. That's a stupid name. Mm -hmm. right, we could be the, the Grinch Gang. Ooh, I like that okay, name a lot. The Grinch Gang. Wait, okay. what is the Nutcracker? Yeah. Grinch Gang, ready? 
Grinch game. The Grinch game. I'm excited guys. This is the first alliance I have been in um, with strong players. I am in an all guys alliance plus me. We are the old fogies of the group, but we are going to take it all the way to the end. Grinch gang! Sody showdown house guests. <laughs> Sody showdown house guests. <laughs> Sodi house guests, it's me again, Barb. Are you ready for another Sodi Boss challenge? And let's see who has the most Christmas spirit. Head over to the theater room to play What's That Jingle? Good luck, Sodi house guests. Sodi house guests, it's time to play Name That Jingle. Since I am the Sodi Boss, I will not be competing in this challenge. Two house guests will compete at a time and try to guess the following lyric to each song. The loser of the round will be eliminated from the competition. The winner will pick the next two house guests to compete. The last house guest standing will be the new Sody Boss. Woo! Good luck, house guests. All right, let's go to the theater room. Woo! So I came into this competition not really worrying about anything. I play a lot of Kahoot quizzes. Let's just say I'm a pretty big deal. After a random draw, Taylor and Jamie will be up first. Woo! All right, so you have to name the lyric that follows what I say. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh over the Hill. fields we go. What? I'm sorry. It's not over the fields we go. So you are eliminated. Ah! Taylor, you must choose the next two house guests to compete. Okay. This is the second Sodi boss that we have played in, and I have done horrible in both of them. I would not be surprised if my Alliance members turn on me and send me out the door packing. I kind of deserve it at this point. I choose Steven and Derek. Are you ready? No. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas Just like the ones I used to know Where the treetops Listen. Glisten and children get eliminated Steven, you're eliminated First round, told you so, nice and easy and the next people I choose is Jordan and Peyton. Oh. I, okay. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. <laughs> uh, take two. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Old or O or what'd you say? Oh. <laughs> Technically she's correct. The next word is O. So Peyton, you are eliminated. This is my favorite answer. Uh Peyton, I guess you were eliminated by a giant fluke. What is a fluke? Just pick two more house guests to play. Okay. I choose um I choose Jared, no, Derek and Taylor. Are we ready? Mm-hmm. I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. I don't care about the presents. Underneath the Christmas tree. Oh! I don't know that song. Underneath the Christmas tree. I don't care about the presents. Underneath the Christmas tree. Taylor, you can <laughs> Round two? Come on, where are the hard ones? Go ahead and choose the next two guests. Jordan and Jared. Are we ready? Yes. 
have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your... I don't know the song. <laughs> have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your... <laughs> Are they both eliminated? <laughs> I think I know what it is, but no, I don't know it's it's someone has to guess. No, it has to do a different song. Keep, no, no, keep going down the song. No, no, oh. All right, since neither of you are ringing in, I'm gonna try it another way. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your be light. From now on, our troubles will be out of sight. <laughs> Your dreams be like? No. <laughs> what a heart be like, right? The correct answer was heart. Jordan, I'm sorry to say, but you've been. <laughs> I don't even know that song. Yeah, I don't know that song. Woo! This is to see who will be the Sodi boss. Too late before the king. Pa -dum pum pum pum. Two. Rum, pum, pum, pum. <laughs> uh -oh. It was worth a try. <laughs> well, I spoke too soon. The last one was extra hard, and I lost. Well, you're <sighs> Okay. And somehow you managed to win, so you are the Sody Boss. Using my smarts, baby. Sody Boss, baby. Sody Boss. I was a little disappointed that I didn't win. But I got another Alliance member at Sody Boss, so I'm I'm sitting pretty. I'm in for the long haul. But I kinda miss my life. Alright, so it looks like I am the new Sody Boss. That was awesome. My strategy worked perfectly. I didn't play in the first round because I talked to Derek into picking two other people, so I gotta buy into the next round securing that me and Derek could get there to the end. And then my other strategy was not answer and let them answer incorrectly. That was the best strategy I think I could have done because I'm not great at Christmas songs, but letting them answer incorrectly automatically makes me win. So it's a perfect win on my book. I think I had a great strategy. And now let's go pick some people. So who are you thinking of putting up on the block? I actually don't know yet. Well, I have no idea. What I would do is put up Peyton because, you know, she won the last competition. Okay. And I don't know about the second person. Second person is a tough one. Yeah, but I know that you should put up Peyton because I don't think she should win another challenge. Are you against Peyton? No, I don't know. I just don't think she should win another challenge. So you want her out, out? Like, out, out. Do you have anything brewing with Peyton? Nothing. You have no alliance with Peyton? No. You're against Peyton? I don't have anything with her. What do you think, man? I don't know. I We can put up two people, and we can absolutely decimate the girls on this one mm -hmm. trip. Mm -hmm. like we can absolutely decimate them. Yeah, this would pretty much make it so they'd have a, it would take a miracle to beat the boys. Yeah. Exactly. So I have two options. Either we still lay low and I put a girl and a boy, or I decimate the girls. Those are our two options. Um, Those are, that's what I'm thinking about, is we can I either decimate like, them or put two. I feel like we laid low the first round. I'm feeling more aggressive. I just want to decimate some fools right now. <laughs> Let's figure one out. I don't know, it might be option. good to make people not know that this is going on. Yeah. There's also this option. If I get put up again, it'll make it seem like I'm enemies. They'll try to make friends with me and then just take my bed. But then putting you up again? It is risky. But if that's three on three, so it is kind of risky. I mean. Actually, it's three on two. But then is that, because I, I want to play as if I have we have no alliances. Yeah. So they already don't think that you have an alliance. Yeah, because I've already I need to make sure that I don't have an alliance because then if I put you up again, it looks like we're an alliance. Well, um 
Why shouldn't I put you up? Maybe we can make an alliance, so, um, because I can make you go up further. How? Because I, I won the last competition, so I could, um, since if anyone puts you up, I could um, make it so no one else puts you up. Okay. I'm going to make this simple, okay? I'm going to put you up. I know. Okay? I know. But what I'm hoping is that you're a strong enough competitor to win the veto. You have to prove that you won last season and you're good enough and win the veto. If you win the veto, you're off. Okay? And so this is not against anyone, but I will put you up. I know. Because you won last season and you're a strong competitor. But since you're so strong, you can win the veto and get yourself off and win some votes. The other person I'm, going, I'm putting up possibly is either Taylor or Steve. Okay? Sound good? If you're able to get out of the veto and you win, we can talk about an alliance. Okay? Okay. Sound good? Yeah. All right. All right. Congratulations. Thank you. What are you thinking? So I'm originally thinking I'm going to put Peyton up. Okay. And the second one is still a little bit up in the air. Okay. What are you thinking? I don't know. I haven't really put much thought into it. I feel like there's been some backstabbing. Backstabbing? Already. From our, a little from birdie our told senior, me. our senior alliance. From our senior alliance, I think. Really? So, what? I have been notified that there's the been- The Grinch King? Yes, already. But I have been notified by Lil Birdie that there was a secret meeting off camera in a locked room that someone overheard some things between Steve and Taylor. So, I'm not sure how loyal Steve is. Really? And Steve, I'm not sure how loyal he was even from the last season. I think he's trying to play all sides. Okay, I mean, so, I'm gonna trust whatever you think. Um, whatever I mean, you have to do, you I have think, to do. I think we're pretty loyal here. Okay. I feel like I have some people that are loyal. Okay. And I feel like I can get, I can get some votes. Okay. But, depending on who's in the veto, we can't let Steve win the veto. All right. So there's a lot going on. I have, I think it's gonna work out to where I need. I'm gonna put Steve and Peyton up because I'm trying to get Steve out and Peyton. I'm trying to make sure they don't win the veto. But, and so I have a few people helping me to make sure that they don't win the veto. Um, Steven's one of my close allies and Derek. So those two, Steven told me that Steve and Taylor have been having some behind the door contracts and so I'm very fishy on Steve. I've been wanting to get him out this whole time. He's a strong competitor. Me and him are really the only ones that are winning competitions, so, and I gave him the win last time, so I need to get him out. All right, guys, it's time for the nomination ceremony. All right, guys, since I'm the Sodi boss, I have the obligation to choose two people to go on the block. After having our meetings, it's nothing personal, but I have to do what I have to do. First house guest up for elimination is Steve. No hard feelings. This is from last week. All right, the next house guest that I have chosen is Taylor. No hard feelings, but you are up for elimination. <laughs> This nomination ceremony is adjourned. I knew it was coming. He told me there's not much I can do. I'm just disappointed. I think there's something more going on here than what we're talking about. I'm gonna have to win this challenge. I think the nomination ceremony went pretty good. I think they took it well. I think Peyton was the most. Sody Showdown House Guests. Man, Taylor, I'm sorry that you got put up. Well, I thought it was totally gonna be me. Sody oh, Showdown House Guests. What? <laughs> Hi, Sody House Guests. It's me again, Barb. All right, Sody House Guests. Who's ready to play? 
you guessed it, got milk. This is a bonus luxury competition. Whoever wins this competition, you get a year's supply of milk. It's been a year even for Santa. And we want to give Santa something really exciting for him to look forward to when he comes and visits the show to showdown house. So we are taking plain old milk and cookies up a notch this holiday season. So head up to the kitchen to play that milk. Good luck, Sody House guests. Santa has been around the world hundreds of times, yet he's been dining on the same old dish for decades. So why not take it up a notch and show Santa what you really got? Each house guest will have one minute to decorate the best looking cookie for Santa and his 12 elves and pour a glass of milk. After the end of one minute, the person with the best decorated cookie will win a life supply of milk. Who's ready to play? Got milk! Yeah. Right, let's do this. Start the time! Holidays coming up, it's getting cold, bundle up, warm it up, I got the milk. I like it nice and frothy milk. I need to boost coffee milk so we can build a snowman. Celebrating sleigh down the hills and up to ball. On your mark, set, go! Forget to pour a cup, close your eyes, sleep. Okay, um, I'm gonna, well, everyone's gonna start with frosting. Man, I need a year's supply of milk. That'd be great. Um, oh, I need frosting first. All right, frosting. Um, how much frosting do I think I need? Enough. Um, I think this is enough. On your mark, get set, go. My plan is to not go for craziness, but something that just looks all around tasty. Okay. I need cookies, 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 cookies. I'm a baker. I should get it. Right. Cookie, frosting, frosting. Mm. I know how Santa likes it, because every time I ever find one cookie from after Santa, it looks like that. Alright, I'm going to Okay, one minute to make the best looking cookie for Santa. Okay, it's going to be First thing I'm going to use. How can we have to do this? I'm not too good at spring. This is bad. Next, I'm gonna get these red sprinkles. Make a little. Like that. So we'll do this. Go. Okay, on to the sprinkles. I'm going to put these corners as quickly as possible can. <sighs> this is the season, you know we're going to milk this. One last thing, check it out the wish list. This time of the year is so delicious. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. My goal is to not overdo the cookie. Hey, hurry up, Peyton. This is a competition. Gotta do hard. Okay. Okay, that's enough. I'm going with the green and red sprinkles. So we could build a snowman. Celebrate and sweating down the hills and up to ball again. Kids gotta go to bed, but don't forget the That looks crazy, but John. It actually looks pretty good. Right now I need this. I'll get some of these. That's good. Just some nice little snowflakes. Then I'm going to add it, this. It's there. Okay. I thought, in my mind, this was going to look better. Alright, some milk. Done. Done. Oh no. It looks really weird. Okay. 
second verse just to get a feel of it. Milk one, milk two, like to make a pill. Happy Hanukkah or have a merry Kwanzaa. Let the heart sing it loud. Fa la 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 la. Make it higher. Yeah, yeah. Done. Forgot the milk. Yeah. I'm running out of time. I need to hurry and pour the milk. Have a milky holiday. Tis the season, you know we're gonna milk this. One last thing, check it out. Finish list. Done. This time of year is so delicious. All across the Milky Way, have a milky holiday. All right, Sodi Showdown fans, it is up to you guys to pick which cookie you think was decorated the best. And don't forget to surprise Santa this year with some milk and cookies. All right, fans, you voted, and the results are in. The winner of the Got Milk Challenge with the best decorated cookie for Santa is... Taylor! Yeah! All right, Taylor, you get a year's supply of milk. Best prize ever. So I wasn't expecting to win. That was awesome. But I'm still on the block and I'm kind of worried. I'm going to win this last chance competition. Well, I'm going to maybe go home. So, it's me and you on the block. Yep. One of us needs to win this competition. We can't both be sitting on a block. Yeah. I mean, we can ride or die until the end if we can survive this week. Okay. Okay? okay. So if you get off, pull me off. Wait, how? <laughs> or if you get off, don't vote me off. <laughs> okay. So we're playing the last chance challenge soon. So if you guys win, would you take me off the block? Well, well, it's kind of hard to choose. I'm just gonna have to think about it. I'm not sure at all. I just don't know. Well, I just want you to consider me because I can be a strong ally. Well, that didn't go as planned. So, I'm on the block. What about our little lines? So What happened? <laughs> I thought we had we literally made that just like barely before. The Grinch game. Uh, What's going on? We, we're trying to throw people off our trail. We don't want to announce to everybody that we have this alliance. So be sure to house guests. It's time for the last chance challenge. Whoever wins this competition gets to have the ability to take someone off the block or leave it the same. But guess what guys, it's another double eviction. Whoever gets last place gets to join the other two on the block. Good luck in the flip the house challenge. All right, guys, it's time to choose the players for the last chance competition. Me, Steve, and Taylor will automatically compete in the competition, and we will choose the other three players. Since I'm the Sodi boss, I will choose the first player. The first player is... House guest choice. I choose... Peyton to play. The next player is... Jordan. Come on up, Jordan. Darn it. All right, and the final contestant is Derek. No competition. Let's get ready to play Flip the House. All right, guys, who's ready to play Flip the House Challenge? <laughs> Each house guest must juggle their cups and try to get them to land inside of each other. If your cup hits the ground, you're out. The house guest with the worst time is the loser, and they will face possible eviction. And the first person to land the cup in the other, or juggle it the longest, is the winner. Let's play. All right, here goes nothing. Here we go. Did 
Alright guys, are you ready to find out your times? Let's do it. The person who had the slowest time was Taylor. And the person with the fastest time was Hayden. Yes! Oh my gosh. Wow! Yes, I have the hourglass trophy! Alright, since the person with the lowest score was already on the block, I have the power to choose the third nominee for eviction. All right, the third nominee that I choose for eviction is, I don't know, Steven. <laughs> All right, this last chance challenge is a journey. All right, so we only have a few minutes before you have to use your power to either pull someone off the block or leave it the way it is okay so I wanted to talk with you just a little bit first I told you I wasn't gonna put you on the block which I didn't so I kept my word there and I chose you to play in this competition because I wanted you to win so that we could be allies I think you proved it so what are you thinking well I'm thinking of using it on Taylor okay I trust your decision but I think we can make an alliance and work together we're both strong so what are you thinking so what I was going to do is use it on you, okay? Because that's kind of hard, a hard competition. So I was thinking of using it on you. But I also want, I also wanted to ask you something. But do you all want to have an alliance? Yeah. Because I'm gonna use this on you, so you won't put me up, and we can work together. Yep. To the end. To the end. Did that really just happen? I'm not going home. Yes. What's up, cameras? No, nothing. You look a little down. Like, are you taking someone else off? It's okay if you are. I. I'm thinking. Okay. If you want to take me off, if you think it's best for you, take me off. But if not, if it's someone else, do it. I respect it. You are a really hard competition. <laughs> you are. All right guys, since I won the last chance oh. challenge, I have the power to keep the nominations the same or take someone off the block. And I choose to use the power on Taylor. Wow. Since I've removed Taylor from the block, Jared, you must choose a replacement nominee. Sounds good. It's a hard decision, but Jamie, you are on the block. This meeting is adjourned. Bye, Bye, Mom. So, uh, it looks like the Grinch gang is just disbanded. My first real big alliance, and it only lasted a few days, and now I'm up on the block. All right, so things are starting to take form of the way I want it to. Um, Grinch Gang, it just wasn't a cool enough name and I knew there's one member already in there, Steve, that is not loyal. So I didn't have very much hopes with that one. We got rid of the two youngest persons early in the game, so why not get rid of the two oldest people? Well, that nomination was unexpected. Well, I'm safe. One step closer to the grand prize. What are you thinking? Are you still sticking with us? Yes. Um, I even talked to Taylor saying, I kind of feel like Steve should stay in, and she agreed. Okay, so Taylor's on board too? Yeah. So I got you and Taylor. If I get one person, I'm safe for sure. What about Jordan? You might have to talk to Jordan for me. Yes, I might actually. <laughs> Do you think you can convince her to keep me? I think I can. Okay, we'll see. All right, so um, you know that there's going to be 
elimination ceremony coming up in just a little bit. Um, I'm just curious like what you're thinking. Um, who, who you're thinking or if you know who you want to keep in the game, either Steven, Steve, or I. I want to keep you because like you're a girl and I'm a girl, so. Like keep the girls yeah. going strong? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's, I think that's a good plan and like we can maybe like, if you, if you keep me, we can maybe do some kind of like girls alliance and try to get the boys out. Well, thanks. Um, Jordan, so who are you thinking to stay in? I think a mom because I want like all the girls to stay in and all the boys to leave. Mm, like last season. But that didn't work out because you ruined it. So, but who I was thinking was Steve to stay in. Why do you want Steve to stay in? I don't know, it's just, I feel like he could help us. And Steven almost won last game, so we need him to go out, right? Yeah. And I think Jamie could be a hard competition. Yeah. So who are you, so do you think we should let Steve come in? I don't know. Because I don't want to lie to Jamie. Lie? Yeah, because I said that I'm going to keep her in. Okay. So we're going to talk later. Yeah. All right, girls, here's the deal. Who are you voting on Steve? I don't know. I'm voting on Jamie. I think I'm voting on Steve. Well, we have two adults in this competition. Don't you think they might be a little harder to beat? Well, you're the one that was slow. Yeah, you almost won uh, last. This is a whole new game, though. I'm just saying you could. I'm also saying I think some of the adults might have an alliance. Mm -hmm. Just throwing that out there, so you guys know. Guys, I think everything is going according to plan. You know how I've said I'm going completely after Peyton? I still am. And I've decided to cause complete chaos. I may or may not have secretly told Jared that they are making a separate alliance, my dad. I also am now telling the girls that the adults have an alliance, even though I have no idea. Just causing chaos, and I hope they keep me because they know that they're enemies. All right, guys, it's time for the elimination ceremony. But first, each of you will have a moment to plead your case. Steve, you can start. I don't have a whole lot to say. I just think that if you guys think I can help you get further in this game, please keep me. I really think it's a good idea for most of you, actually, so. I also don't have much to say, but keep me in. I'm awesome. <laughs> Are you done? I'm done. All right. I have a lot to say. Um, I feel like girls, the girls are going to be the ones voting. And Derek. Um, but girls, I think that we should have a girls alliance and I think we should go after the boys. Why should we let the boys sit here and run this game and win the challenges and pick off the girls? Two girls got sent home last time. Let's send one of these boys home vote to keep me and we'll go after the rest of the boys. Let me clarify. Send both of the boys home and keep me. Alright everyone, it's time to cast your votes. If there is a tie, I will cast my vote to break that tie. I vote to save Steven. I vote to keep Jamie. I love you mom. I vote to keep Steve. I vote to keep Steve. As soon as I announce the house guest that will be staying, the other two house guests must leave immediately. With two votes, Steve, you will be staying in the house. Jamie and Steven, you have been evicted. Where's my hugs? Peyton might falter, but she did not. 
I'm looking stronger than ever right now in this game. All right, Sodi house guests, are you ready for the next Sodi boss competition? Woo! All right, who's ready to play Sodi Spotter? In this competition, two Sodi house guests will compete at a time. There will be a picture on the screen for five seconds. There will be a question asked about the picture. The Sodi house guest that answers it correctly will move on. The one that doesn't is eliminated. After the random draw, Steve and Derek will be competing first. Good luck, Sodi house guests. The question is, what two colors was Jack Frost's suit? White and blue. That's what I was saying. Ding, 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 that's right. <laughs> All right, since that I won, I'll pick the next two contestants. I choose Peyton and Taylor. Turn. The question is, what was on the hat of the bald-headed burglar? A feather. <laughs> that is correct. Oh, that's the first thing I looked at. All right, since I won, I get to choose two new contestants. Jordan and Derek. Ready? Turn around. Oh. The question is, what two main toys were the elves building? I know one was a teddy bear, and the second, oh. I don't know. You can describe it. Um, I think it had like, kind of uh, like one of those like, rocking chair things that move at the bottom or something. <laughs> Sorry. Derek, can you answer it? Teddy bears and Etch-a-Sketches. That is correct. I don't even know what Etch-a-Sketches are. All right, it's time for the championship round between Derek and Peyton. Are you guys ready? Yes. Yes, let's do this. Ready and turn around. <laughs> The question is, what is the random item that does not fit in that picture? Hmm? Wait, what? Wait, what? Okay, now I'm confused. There is an item that does not fit in that picture. It's a toilet paper. <laughs> and look what the antlers on it. Was antlers on toilet paper? No. Ding, ding, ding. Toilet paper was the correct answer. <sighs> that was a tough one. I guess I'm the Sodi boss. <laughs> I just don't know why I don't get it. I thought for sure that thing was a bunny. It looks just like a bunny. Apparently it's toilet paper, but I still won. So uh, I guess a bowl of toilet paper made me lose a competition. And then we're looking at toilet paper again. All right, Jack, what are you thinking? Where are you gonna put up? You so, three people. This is what I'm thinking. Thinking Taylor? Of course. Peyton? Of course. And the last one? Steve. Girls, mm -hmm. I wanna have a meeting with you really quick. Okay. Go on. Girls? Yeah. Derek and Jared are having a secret meeting right now. Yeah. They're obviously together. <sighs> but us four can team up and guarantee that we send Jared home this week. Yeah. All we have to do is one of us wins the veto and we force Jared on the block. Okay. Okay? Okay. What should we call our group? The four. The Eight. five. Three girls and a daddy? Yeah. Sure. Three girls and a daddy. Three girls and a daddy. <laughs> Let's do it. Jordan, I know that uh, you're working with Derek, aren't you? You cannot tell him anything we just okay. talked about. You promise? Don't tell him anything. Okay. No. Oh. What is it? Um, quick question. Did I see you in here sitting with Steve? No. What were you talking about? Um. Hmm? He said that. I don't want any lies because I saw you here talking to him before I start putting people on the block. Do you want to be put on the block? No. 
then you better start talking right now. I am the Sodi boss, and if you want to be on the block, you can keep lying to everybody else. I'm not but you don't lie to me, okay? I'm not you tell me right now what you talked to him about. He said that um, pay, we should vote out Payton because she is a strong competitor, and she she won the last competition. Look so. at me! Look at me! Are you lying? No! Why are you laughing then? I can't even trust you anymore. Oh my gosh. I'm not lying. Good luck at the next competition. Oh no. All right. I know you think you're working with Jared and you think you're working with Jordan. Mm -hmm. I would be very careful of who else they're trying to snake in the group. Mm -hmm. You know, I obviously had Peyton and Taylor kind of in my pocket, but that was because of deals that expired. When I was in charge, I said, you have to vote a certain way to keep Steven in the game. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I got the votes I needed. Okay. So I would say that it's pretty likely that Jordan's not just working with you. Mm -hmm. And Jared, he's been trying to snake me the whole game. That's awesome, bro. And have I ever snaked you? Necessarily. All right, guys, set for the nomination ceremony. As the Sodi boss, it is my duty to nominate three house guests to go on the block. My first nomination is Taylor. My second nomination is Peyton. David is on Sleep Girls. And my third and final nomination is Steve. This nomination ceremony is adjourned. I was crossing my fingers so hard that he went up. It worked. So I'm in two alliances with Derek, supposedly, and this is how it is. Well, it looks like I'm on the block again. No surprise. Checkmate. Sodi Showdown House Guest. Hi, Sodi House Guest. It's me again, Mark. Who's ready for another? Last chance challenge! Who's ready to play Santa's Soda Drop? The winner of this competition gets the hour, glass, trophy, and has all the power. And up to the kitchen, Soda House guests. Good luck. Who hi in the first play? Who's ready to play Santa's Soda Drop? In this competition, you can choose to win the veto or $20. Each house guest will get to throw one ping pong ball. Red is worth five points, pink is worth one point. Yellow is worth two, and orange is worth three. After each house guest has competed, the house guest with the highest number on both sides will win. Choose wisely. Well, I'm choosing to go for the veto. I'm going for the veto. Well, you don't win with zero points. I may be going home, folks. Five points, baby! I am for sure gonna try and win this. I wanna stay in the game. Is that good? Oh, that's not bad, I mean. I feel like that's the second best score. I could win. I think I'm pretty safe this week, so I'm going for the money. Are you ready to find out the results? 
Derek, Jared, and Joanne chose to play for the money. And Derek won the money from one point. Woo! Me, Steve, and Taylor chose to play for the Owlgrass Trophy. Woo! I'm at the high school, so I probably won that competition. And with five points, Taylor won. Woo! I won! I know who I'm taking off the block. Well, looks like my gamble paid off. Won it with one point. All right guys, it's time for the last chance ceremony. Since I won the hourglass trophy, I have the power to pull someone off the block or keep the nominations the same. I choose to use the hourglass trophy on myself. All right, Derek, since I pulled someone off the block, you must choose a replacement nominee. I don't want to have to do this, but some people just want to watch the world burn. Jared, you're up here. Are you kidding me? I think you two know what we need to be doing. Yeah. Good. Wait, what were you supposed to be doing? What are you guys thinking? Who are you voting to keep? Don't know. We don't know. All right, guys, it's time for the elimination ceremony. Before we vote, you each have a moment to plead your case. Taylor, you know you can trust me. Jordan, I've been helping you the whole way here. Keep me in mind. Keep me in the game. Well, I'm just saying you probably want to keep me in because these are dudes and the competitions and I'm a girl and I'm not that big of a competition. Well, I wouldn't say I'm not as big as a competition, but <laughs> just saying. She's obviously a huge competition since she won last season. Which means I can help you. You don't want her in there. But also, Jordan, I helped you out a ton and that is the truth. And, but if you guys decide to vote me out, you have to vote him too. Because I'm not going up, by, going down by myself. He's coming with me. I'm tired of him still being in the game and me being out. So get him out. All right, guys, it's time to cast your votes. I vote to keep Peyton. This is so hard. I choose to keep Peyton. All right, the votes are in. Once I announce the house guest that will be staying, the two other house guests must vacate the Sodi Manor immediately. With a unanimous vote, Peyton will be staying in the Sodi house. Yes. You may say your goodbyes. Goodbye. Goodbye. It's been fun. Goodbye. Oh. Just nothing for me? You pushed cool. me away. Cool. No, get away from me. <laughs> will go to the finale where all the rest of the house guests will vote on the winner. Good luck, sweet house guests. Whew. Ooh, I got this in the back. All right, sweet house guests, 
Who's ready to play? Find Santa's cookies. Each house guest has one minute to hide their token in the secret room. After all the tokens are hidden, every house guest will go into the secret room. The name on the final token found will be the first house guest to enter the finals. Good luck. All right, I'm the first person to hide. Start the timer. All right, I got this. Well, I have a few ideas. I was thinking about maybe. Oh no, that doesn't work. Oh shoot. No! There's no good spots! In this headphones box. And when they open it, they don't see it because it will be in here. Okay. All right, on the count of three, we start searching. ridiculous place possible, and then go on to find everybody else's? Come on. I have one more competition to try to get into the finale. That was so hard. I'm just so disappointed. And I can't believe Taylor won all of them. What? Taylor's chip was exactly where I was looking? I didn't even know how to open that. Uh, guys, I just won. I'm going to the finale. You're looking at a champion. Guys, for the house guests, are you ready to play last new Christmas tree? Yeah. Right, I'll be reading off several questions. There'll be true or false questions. Yellow is true, blue is false. Whoever gets the most questions right wins. Good luck, house guests. The winner goes to the finale with me. First question. In the first story box comp, Steve scored a 10 in the sudden death round to win.
The correct answer was false. Alright okay, guys, second question. In the what's that jingle comp, Jamie answered fields instead of hills and was eliminated. The answer was false. <laughs> Cause she, she said hills, not fields when it's supposed to be fields. <laughs> Question number three. In the first last chance competition, Santa lift off challenge, Blake scored four points in her effort to win the competition. Wait, what? The answer was true. I wasn't there, I didn't know. You all got them wrong, we said. Question four. In the first eviction ceremony, Steve received four votes to survive the eviction and stay in the house. So. Yeah, that might be an argument for why Peyton should win. She won last season, but then she's sitting in the final two again, like we let her get that far. That's impressive. I might have to agree with Steve here, which is a surprise, but Taylor kind of got carried through the competition, and I feel like Peyton earned her way. So. I mean, they both won the same amount of competitions, so... Peyton saved Taylor from off the block, so... I'm not really sure what I'm gonna choose right now. I think that Taylor, I mean Peyton should win. It's tough call. I mean, it's hard choosing someone to win that has already won before, but that's impressive that she was able to go that far again. She may deserve a second win. Just saying, I said to vote Peyton off way early on. No one did it. I don't know guys, to me it's a toss up. I don't know who's gonna win. All right, house guests, it's time for the two remaining house guests to plead their case. All right, sweetie so house guests, it's time to vote. Good luck. I think you should vote for me to stay in because um, you all want me out, but somehow I still got up because I feel like I'm good at this game because I keep on getting up to the finals. I'm good at my social game and my competitive game. I'm the only person that got in the finals twice now. I feel like that deserves me another win. I think you all should vote for me to win because have I ever broken one of your alliances with you? Like, I was in with almost everyone, not everyone though, and I've never broken anyone's. I was loyal to the very end. 
I was put on the block a bunch, but I still managed to get to the end. That should say something for how hard I'm fighting. And that's why I feel like I should win. I'm trying to see the person I hope This has been a hard decision for me since I worked with both of you, but there's my vote. I voted this person to win because I feel like they worked hard and they deserve it. I just closed my eyes and went any meeny money mo. This was the most easiest decision of my life. I feel like this one was pretty easy too. This was really hard. I feel like both of you guys deserved it. All right, are you guys ready to find out who the winner of the Sodi Christmas Showdown is? Yes. Okay. Okay, here we go. All right. The first vote is Peyton. <gasps> the next vote is Taylor. Peyton. Taylor. Peyton. Taylor. Okay. Taylor. And the last one. Taylor. So the winner. Thank you for watching today's video. When I won the Christmas Sodi Showdown. Subscribe to my channel and click that bell. And give us a big thumbs up. Bye.